Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good afternoon and happy 4th of July, Eastern Iowa. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Danny Cassidy. Well, there is a lot to talk about for today and over the next couple of days as we have quite a bit of active weather. For the rest of today, we had some initial showers and storms roll through. Nothing was severe. That should end by about 2 or 3 o'clock today. But after that, the humidity and temperatures ramp up. We do see some heat come in the area. Now, tonight we could see a little bit of redevelopment. Now, it is slim, but there could be some strong and severe storms tonight. We'll get into that in a bit. Tomorrow, we're hot and humid. We're under a heat advisory from noon to 8 p.m. tomorrow. Could feel like up to 105. And with that, storms could develop late and also be strong and severe, so that's why we're in the yellow there. And then on Wednesday, another chance of showers and storms will still be humid, and those could also be strong and severe. So, first with the dew points here, for the next couple of days, they're going to stay very high in the low to mid 70s. It's going to stick that way through at least Thursday. And then by Friday, we dropped off a little bit at 67. But the thing is, it's still going to feel humid. It's going to be uncomfortable out there for the rest of this week. When we have these high dew points. We also have to talk about the heat index. So for today, depending on how much sunshine and how much that cloud cover kind of dissipates, we could feel up to 100 in some areas. But the big threat here is for tomorrow. It could feel like up to 105, maybe even higher in some localized spots. So as always, make sure to stay hydrated and get shade if you can. And then Wednesday through Friday, we're still in that hot range, upper 80s to low 90s, but nothing compared to what we'll see today and tomorrow. So with that, we are under a heat advisory. This is for tomorrow, starting at noon until 8 p.m. Could feel like 100 to 105 up or out there. And these northern five counties here, they're not in the heat advisory, but it's still going to feel pretty sticky out there. So just because it's not signaled as a heat advisory, it still will feel warm out there. Now for the severe risk. So this is for the rest of today. Most of the areas in a level two risk and the main threats are large hail and damaging wind gusts, but an isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. Now, st uh, shower and storm redevelopment is slim right now. We did have these showers and storms move through and kind of suck the energy out of the atmosphere and kind of used it all up. But if we get enough sunshine to power it for today, we still could see that redevelop. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. For tomorrow, this is the severe weather risk. We have so your weather risk rather level two for most of the area. This is for tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. And then on Wednesday, we have another level two risk here across the state and most of eastern Iowa. So it's going to be a very active weather pattern. And as always, make sure to stay up to date here on KWWL and the Storm Track 7 app. So let's timestamp the rest of today here. So these are the showers and storms from this morning. They'll continue to move off to the east. And by about three o'clock, they should leave the area, giving us some sunshine here that we haven't seen yet today. Now, this is the key here. If we do see enough sunshine and enough heat, we could redevelop some of these storms. The best chances, I think, are in the northeastern portions of eastern Iowa, especially in Winnesheek and Alma Key, where we could see some of those storms flare up. And if they do flare up, they do have the potential to be strong to severe. So for your fireworks tonight, it could be a little bit disrupted by that. Again, redevelopment is slim, but it cannot be absolutely ruled out. By tomorrow morning, we clear out the sunshine, so your morning commute shouldn't be any issue but the heat and humidity will be there with those temperatures in the low to mid 90s as well as the dew points. Then tomorrow afternoon into the evening, showers and storms off to the west here in western Iowa. They're going to continue to make its way south and east. And this is where, again, we could see this strong to severe risk with those large hail and damaging wind gust threats. Again, still can't rule out an isolated tornado. They'll continue to move through Wednesday night. We get a little bit of clearing Wednesday overnight, but in Wednesday morning, they continue to ramp back up and move here off to the north and to the east. So your Wednesday morning commute could see some strong to severe weather. Uh, the specifics of that are not known at this point, but of course we'll keep you updated on that. Now besides the severe weather risk, we could see multiple, multiple inches of rain. Today some spots have already reached up to an inch and a half, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw two inch reports. That's going to continue to happen through the week as we have on and off storm chances all the way through Friday. So as always, stay weather aware out there, and as always, keep updated here on KWWL. For today, high temperatures, depending on how much cloud cover and sunshine we get, mid to upper 80s to the north, low 90s to the south. Those chances of storms right now is at 40%, but I reduce that maybe to 30 or 20% once those showers do move out. Tonight, we do have that isolated risk of showers and storms. Again, should mainly be to the north and the east. Can't absolutely rule it out for some fireworks celebrations though tonight. Otherwise, we're warm and humid with low temperatures in the low to mid 70s. City by city forecast for Waterloo, Dubuque, Cedar Rapids, and Iowa City. That 20% tomorrow, we could see some in the late afternoon hours, but that'll mostly be Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Wednesday, it is looking very likely during the daytime hours. And Tuesday is the hot day with temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. Maybe could see a localized 100 in some spots. And those storm chances last through Friday and will continue to stay humid through the end of the week. Weekend's looking dry right now, but it's going to stay warm. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. And they'll continue through 
the start of next week with maybe a storm chance on Monday.